Hi guys, thanks for joining us this afternoon. Uh, Coach Perel is here and she will start with an opening statement and then we will uh, open the floor to questions. So coach, whenever you're ready. Yeah, okay, well, happy Easter. Um, a beautiful day, especially for Easter Sunday and uh, just you know, thankful that we had the opportunity to compete in our facility um, and just a great day from the start and being able to recognize Coach Jen McIntyre and anytime we can have our alumni back, um, you know, it's a pretty, pretty special moment for us. And, and obviously this weekend has been about our alums. So uh, just looking forward to the day where we can get them all back in. But, um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much my, my opening statement. So thank you guys for, for staying on and wanted to, to ask some questions. So Logan and Logan, whenever you're ready, we will start with uh, Logan G. Hi coach. Uh, first of all, happy Easter to you too. Um, Today, um, a tough one out there. Um, what would what is your two cents from the afternoon? Yeah, uh, definitely a tough one, obviously. And you know, we we got to figure out a way tomorrow to shut down their offense. Um, Bailey, you know, she she obviously had a great great game against those guys yesterday, but I just felt like they came out and, and made some good adjustments and. But, you know, we've got to pitch it a little better. I know Bailey and, and Logan and, and our pitching staff is going to be ready to ready to go tomorrow. Um, we're just going to have to take a look at the film and, and figure out a way to be 1% better. And, and offensively as well, I mean, we can't, we can't win if we can't score runs. So, you know, we just talked to our team about we just have to make sure that we're competing a little harder in the box and, and putting together, putting together um, better at bats. So just looking to just be better in all facets really tomorrow. Logan B. Hi, Coach. So, uh, first of all, happy Easter. And uh, second of all, you kind of mentioned the uh, offensive side. Uh, not a lot of hits. So uh, not a lot of hits in the game. Only I believe there's two hits today. Uh, what adjustments are you looking to make uh, going into the final game of the series? Yeah, I think it's going to depend on who they're going to throw. Um, you know, good chance they'll they'll throw Allison Smith tomorrow. But I'm I'm sure um, Peyton, you know, um, will be in relief. But I think we've got a good, and we hit, we hit uh, Allison pretty well yesterday, I thought. So, you know, I, I think our offense will be ready to go and, and we've got actually early batting practice tomorrow morning. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the film. And, you know, I know coaches will, our hitting coaches will put together a, a good, uh, a good hitting plan to, to be ready to go for either of them. But, you know, Ohio state's got good pitching. Um, they got two of the, the better pitchers in, in the league and, and, uh, but I do expect this to be better. And, and I know our kids are, you know, we had asked them actually, do you guys still want to hit? Do you need the rest? What do you need? They're like, no coach, we, we want to get back to work and we want to hit. So um, we all know that we need to get better. And I know that we will. Logan G. Hi, um, you touched on it briefly a little bit, um, but uh, heading into the final game of the series, what are you uh, telling the team to stay motivated, to stay ready to stay um, just for the uh, for tomorrow? Yeah, honestly, we're not telling them really anything different. You know, we've we really just take things one day at a time, um, one game at a time. And and, you know, when I look at what our kids, you know, we had a tough weekend in Nebraska, yet they came out game four and they were ready to go. And I, th I do think that our kids are, are resilient and they, you know, they don't give up. So I, it, again, my, our message really isn't any different because our, our kids show up every day and are ready to compete. You know, the, our biggest message is that we, we've got to execute at a higher, at a higher rate. And, and that's been the, the biggest hiccup I think that we've had. And, but, you know, from an intangible standpoint, I, I know that our kids have a lot of fight and, and uh, they're going to be ready to go tomorrow. So all right, Logan B, you can have the last question here. Yeah, Coach, so uh, with this being the uh, first series uh, at Beard Field for the first time in um, quite some time, uh, what's just been the reaction of just uh, being able to play a series at home? Obviously, this being the first time for you playing uh, a series at Beard. Yeah, it's it's awesome. We've got a great venue. We're so fortunate to be able to compete in, in on this field and, and in our facility. And, you know, it's it's always great to play in front of your home crowd and I know that if it wasn't COVID, we probably have a ton more people out there, but just really grateful for the support of, of our Penn State family and, you know, our, our players' families and our staff families. So, um, you know, they're, they're with us in the trenches and, and couldn't be more grateful. So, yeah, just a, a beautiful day today and just thankful to have the opportunity to compete at home. 
All right. Thank you, Logan and Logan, and uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks. You Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.